Hi everybody and welcome back to Tales of Wanderlust. If you want to do some meal planning, then stay tuned. So I'm about to get ready to jump back on the road and my fridge is currently not opening, currently quite empty. So I'm going to go through some meal planning, how I think through the process, and then we're gonna go to the store, pick up a few items, and see if we can get it all here in the fridge. All right, first thing we're going to do is see what I actually have in the fridge here. I have some jam, which thankfully is not moldy. We've got some lemon and lime juice. I've got some butter, mayonnaise, mustard, and then a few condiments. So I really don't have too much in there at all. And then in the cabinet, I have some pasta, some tuna, three bottles of wine. Probably shouldn't have three bottles of wine. Some canned portobello vegetables and herbs, which this is really good to make soup with. Tequila, some peanut butter, and then protein powder. So for breakfast, what I usually do is I take some whole wheat bread, some avocado, eggs, chipotle hot sauce. I already have the butter for the bread, so I need bread, chipotle hot sauce, and avocado. I try to take enough food for a full week. Sometimes I can actually do it for two weeks. When you buy avocado from the store, a lot of times they're pretty hard and they take a while to ripen. So I store them in the fridge and then I'll take one or two at a time, put them on the counter and let them ripen up. By doing that, the avocados actually last a really long time. So I am gonna get enough avocados for two weeks. Eggs, I eat a lot of eggs. So we are going to do an 18 pack of those. Then what I do for a snack is I do smoothies. So I do have some protein powder in here. It's chocolate flavored. So I'm gonna do some frozen strawberries, some bananas, I do coconut milk and then spinach. So that's it for smoothies. I should get some nuts to snack on as well. For lunch, I'm going to do a chicken hummus sandwich with cucumbers on it. So I'm going to get some chicken. I'm going to cook the chicken up ahead of time and then I will take hummus, cucumber, and eat it that way. So I will need chicken, hummus. I've already got the bread, which is used for breakfast as well. And then I will do some cucumbers. And I think some red onion actually sounds pretty good on that too. So now it comes down to dinner. Before dinner, I do have tuna. So I'm gonna make some tuna burgers. All you need for that is the canned tuna, some spices, and then a vegetable. My go-to vegetables are broccoli and asparagus because they're really easy to do in the cast iron pan on the stove. And with a little bit of lemon juice, which I already have in here, they come out really great with just salt and pepper on them. And then I do have a chipotle seasoning that I'll use sometimes as well. I do have the mushrooms in there. So I think I'm gonna do a soup. So I'm going to need a broth, and then I think I'm gonna put some pasta into it. So we'll do some pasta, some broth, and then all of that mushroom stuff in there as well. And then I will have the spinach for my smoothies and spinach in that soup is really good too. So that'll be another meal. Since I already have the broccoli asparagus for vegetables and then I have the chicken for the lunch, I'm just going to get extra chicken breast. And then some nights I will make up some chicken, some broccoli in the pan. You just season it, use some lemon juice. It's healthy, but most importantly, it's really easy to do. So after a long day of work and then having to take Jasper for a walk, cooking up just a simple chicken and broccoli dinner is awesome. So I'll make sure I have plenty of chicken for that. Also going to get some scallops because scallops and asparagus are amazing. So, so far we've got the tuna burgers, the soup, the scallops, chicken one night, that's four nights. I'm probably gonna do chicken a fifth night just to make it easy. And then the other meal I'm probably gonna do is tacos because you can make a lot of food up, keep it in your fridge, and then you have tacos galore and I can eat them for lunch, eat them for dinner. My plan is to go visit some friends for about a week and then I have about a 10 hour drive ahead of me. So I wanna have some meals in here that are easy enough that everything's cooked, I just have to assemble and then go. Since I have the chicken already, I'm going to make chicken tacos. So I'll get tortillas, I'll have the chicken that I'll cook up with some taco seasoning ahead of time. I need taco seasoning. I do have tequila and I put a little bit of tequila in my taco meat as well. I need tortillas, cheese, the spinach. I'll cut up some spinach to put on there as well. I already have the red onion. I'm gonna get some cilantro because I like fresh cilantro on my tacos. And then I'm gonna be a little naughty and I'm gonna get queso, refried black beans. 
and hard taco shells. So I'm thinking soft tortilla, queso, or the refried black beans, and then you put the hard taco shell in there and you fold it up. Kind of like a cheesy gordita crunch from Taco Bell, but modified. And then I would do the chicken, the cilantro, the cut up spinach, the red onion, cheese, and then I think I'll do a little bit of sour cream on top. Ah, no, and then I'll do some of the crema that is really good. Okay, I think that's good. And then I'm gonna get a couple of apples just for snacks, and I am going to be good. Sometimes I will get ice cream and put the ice cream in the freezer, but I'm not gonna do that. I think we are good there. It is time to head to the grocery store. Now I could just drive to the grocery store, but we do have e-bikes here at Michael's house. I enjoy the grocery store as is because I love food and I love shopping for food, but sometimes when you're driving stuck in traffic, it can start to feel like a chore. So by taking the bikes, it makes it a lot more of an enjoyable evening out. All right, now it is time to unload all the groceries. You may wonder why I do plastic bags. The reason is they turn into my garbage bags. So I actually take the bag, I hang it right off this hook. The benefit of doing it this way is these fit really nicely in the garbage cans at gas stations. So anytime I drive into town, I'll take my garbage with me, dump it at the gas station while I'm filling up on gas, and it's a really easy way to get rid of your garbage while on the road. So I just store the extra grocery bags in the little basket by the door, and it's a great place to keep them. All right, what I'm gonna do is actually unload the groceries out of the bags first. That way I know how much is going in the fridge and then we can put the puzzle together and fit everything in there. I love the smell of cilantro. All right, the chicken, we actually have to take in and package it up into individual bags. That way I can take it out of the freezer in meal sizes for me. These kind of items usually go in the cargo net, but since I'm about to travel, I'm just putting the bread, the nuts, those things here on the bed. This is my bowl that I put my fresh fruit in. So my apples and my onions are gonna stay in there and that's actually what usually sits on the counter. I only have a few things here, some beans and some taco seasoning to actually get in the cupboard. And then everything else is gonna go in the fridge. So let's start puzzling this thing together. All right, hopefully you can see most of the fridge here. So this bottle is what I make iced tea in. So that has to stay there. Anything that has a seal on it, I'm okay if it lays flat but if it's open, like the lime juice is open, I leave it in the door. That way I don't have to worry about any spills. So I start with the eggs and they just go lengthwise because they have to fit that way. The big bottle of smoothie slides right in there with it. The top is usually where I put the miscellaneous small type items. So my extra lime juice will go up there. That's where I'm going to put my queso and my capers, and then also my hot sauce, the soy sauce I picked up, the chipotle hot sauce I use for breakfast. We'll put the yogurts up there. And then also the taco cheese. And then we still have the chopped garlic. That's good for the top. On the bottom, we're gonna put the hummus. The strawberries have to go in the freezer, but there's always a lot of air. So I'm actually going to open it and then seal it with the Ziploc. And now it's a little bit smaller and it fits nicely in the freezer. All of my vegetables typically go here. I do have a vegetable bag that I put them all in, which really helps to keep them fresh. That bag is currently in the wash. So I'm just going to leave them in here in the bags currently. And then once I am done washing the veggie bag, I will switch them over. It really has helped me save a lot of vegetables and it makes them last a lot longer. All right, the cheese goes up with the condiments. We've got the bone broth. We'll stick in the door for now. That can go back in the door. I've got my cucumber, coconut milk. And then finally the tortellini for the soup. And that's it. I actually could fit more in the fridge if I wanted to. There's still a good amount of room here and there's more room on top of the condiments here and there's some room in the back there as well. And then there's a little bit of door space. So this fridge actually fits a lot more food than you would actually expect. And now for the cupboard over here, I only have a few things to go in here. So I've got the can of beans, which I'm just going to rest into that basket I have in there. And then same with the seasoning. I could have bought a big plastic jar of the taco seasoning, which would have been great because I use a lot of taco seasoning, but the big plastic jars are hard to fit. And then as you use taco seasoning, 
that plastic jar doesn't change size. It's always there. So even if you only have that much seasoning in the bottom, it still takes up the same amount of space in your cupboard. That's why I opt for the individual sizes. Then when I actually use the seasoning, it slowly starts reducing how much is in here and it frees up capacity for other food as well. I, I just ran inside and I packaged up my chicken. So these are 10 chicken breasts. I get the ones that are already trimmed and they're a little bit smaller. It's basically one big size slice and a half. So you can think of this as either 10 trimmed or five chicken breasts total. So this for me is 10 meals. And let's see if we can get this plus the two chicken breasts and the scallops and the strawberries and the ice cube tray all in the freezer. All right, we got it all in there. You actually could go two weeks if you really plan. I have done it before. So it's actually pretty amazing how much you can fit in this fridge. Now that is two weeks eating for one person. If you are gonna be eating for two people, it's not gonna last you quite as long, but for me, it's a perfect size fridge for everything I need. That is it. That is how I get an entire week's worth of food into the base camp. If you have any questions on any of the food that I've purchased, the meals I'm going to make, or anything about storing all the food in here, comment below, let me know. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.